Okay, guys, I am going to season um, my oxtail tomorrow, you know, because tomorrow I'm going to make you some ox. I'm going to show you um, how to make oxtail and rice and peas, or otherwise known as peas of rice. All right, here I had, I'm soaking my oxtail in some water. It's been soaking for about 30 minutes. All right, with some lime as usual, lemon as usual, um, and some vinegar, of course. All right, now I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna rinse it off. This is, this is how I season, I wash all my meat. All right. we go oh, oh. okay all right I'm gonna drain all the water off okay okay guys so in this I'll be using onion Slap your mama as per usual. All right, I am going to use browning seasoning sauce. Okay, uh, jerk chicken, hot and spicy, and mild. And I'm going to use some of, some of Miss Dash original seasoning. All right, and some garlic powder. Okay, and ginger, of course. I went ahead and peeled the ginger. And Goya Cezanne. Right, so I'm using two packets of Goya Cezanne. Okay, and I'm going to cut up my onion. And I'm going to cut it big, guys. I'm junking it. Okay. All right. I'm wedging the onions. Okay. And you'll see why when I show you how I cook it. All right, I'm putting some slap your mama, all right, just about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to, you know what, guys, I went to the grocery store today and I saw Texas Speed Original Dust Dry Seasoning. I don't know, it looked yummy. I tasted it. Tastes good. Doesn't taste bad at all. So I'm trying it out in the oxtail, okay? All right. I'm not going to use too much. <laughs> I'm not used to it. All right, I'm going to use about a teaspoon. All right. And I'm going to use some garlic. You know I love a lot of garlic. I'm also going to be using the, um, the clove garlic, but at the end of the oxtail, at the end of preparing it. Okay, so this is hot and spicy. All right, not too much, about a teaspoon, and you would probably use about a tablespoon of the mild. All right. Don't use too much because it's not really jerk. I'm not really jerking the oxtail. Did I use this? Mm -mm. I don't think I used this. All right, this doesn't have any salt in it, so yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to use some browning. This is just to give the oxtail color. All right, guys. You know how you see that nice color oxtail? Yes. All right, I use about two tablespoons. All right, and here is the secret. Ginger. Great in my ginger. I'm going to grate about a quarter or half of this. Maybe quarter, quarter of this, not too much because I don't want to overkill the flavor. All right, guys. Yep, I need that for the record, please. Okay, and now again, I'm going to get my hands dirty. Okay, and that's how I season my ox. Yeah. All right, you wedge the onion. Because I wash the onion because of how I'm, you, you know, how, you'll see how I do it when I show you how I cook it. All right, that's my ox steel ready to go. All right. See, it has that nice color already, guys. 
thanks to the browning, the seasoning, thanks to the browning and seasoning sauce. Gives it that nice color. All right, now I taste it. Mmm, nice. Mmm, tasting good already. All right, guys, so the oxtail, my oxtail is ready. Okay, so I'm going to uh, leave this to marinate overnight. And tomorrow I will show you how I cook it. All right? Like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys? Also, this is my peas that I'm going to use for the rice and peas to go with the oxtail. Okay? All right? I use the Goya. Let me show you what I use. I'm using Goya. Red kidney beans, okay? I used half the bag, all right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, usually I soak my peas overnight in cold water. All right, I soak it overnight to make it easier to cook. I could use the peas in the can, but I like the rice and peas from scratch. I like authentic rice and peas.